Hello, beautiful Libras. How are you? We are here to do your thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, as well as the overall energy between you and your romantic interest. So let's take a look and see what the overall energy in this connection is at this time. All right, the Magician, woo, Virgo, and Gemini energy manifesting the relationship. Ooh, both of you want this. This is mutual energy. All right, we have the King of Fire. That is the Leo King. Leo King, somebody who's very passionate, very action-oriented, a take-charge kind of person. They don't sit back and relax. They like to be the leader. They like to be the center of attention. So you may be dealing with a Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Ooh, <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. This is a queen of fire. Look at that energy. Wow. You are a match set. I'm going to go ahead and take the cards that were next to it because we have the six of fire victory that could be an engagement the two of you could be married the two of you could be dating well matched manifesting an engagement with each other the justice card oh my <laughs> oh my word libra that is your energy in the reading that's that looks like it is a marriage license some of you may be newly engaged. I will say that. I'm going to move this. I feel as though some of you have gotten engaged over the holiday or will get engaged over the holiday. Beautiful energy. Libra, Libra, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. Let's look and see what your person is thinking about you. We see the Virgo energy, the Eight of Pentacles. They feel like being with you is so much creative fun. It's almost like you might share hobbies or interests or things that you like to do together. You're learning about each other. You're invested in each other. You're very much on the same page. Gorgeous energy. All right. What else do they think about you, Libra? What else do they think about you? All right. They feel as though you're very, very loving, that you're very trustworthy, that you're very honorable, that you're a very devoted person, someone who they can, you know, really, really trust. A solid romantic relationship is here with you at this time. This person is well-intentioned and charitable, and they very much see you in the same energy. All right, so let's see what we have here. Wow, beautiful. Okay. More thoughts that Libra's person of interest or love interest has for them. The world card, they want to, they think the world of you, quite literally. This person wants to make a long-term commitment with you. They want to go the distance. They want to, it's till death do us part kind of commitment. The world card is, would be closing out a chapter of dating and moving into a successful marriage. The Emperor card, this person is in charge. Large and in charge. This person is bossing up. They are definitely Ten of Cups or Ten of Swords energy. Whatever has happened in their lives in the past, whatever's happened in your life in the past, they feel as though they have the power to advance the two of you forward into a beautiful new future. Interesting. Okay, so let's see in terms of what this person feels in their heart space for you. I want to actually use the Light Sears Tarot for that. There we go. Okay, so let's see what is in this person's heart space for our beautiful Libra friends. Let's see what is in the heart space for our beautiful Libra friends. What's in the heart space of your lover? What is in the heart space of your lover? Okay, and let's see. Okay. Eight of coins, the desire to work together again. This person does feel heartbroken, though. They also feel as though they can't say much about the heartbreak. They do have a plan of action with that Virgo energy. person is hurting. You might be separated through no fault of your own because of somebody's work 
or job. Now that won't that won't be everyone, but some of you will be in a situation where you can't take action and or that you can't take action about a decision that you may have made. So it does look like this person may is considering, although they don't want to, if this person is secretly desirous of becoming engaged, and it looks like they are, it looks like they're gonna pop the question. They don't know if now is the right time. They don't know if they should wait until you can actually have a better choice of options for your wedding, you know, so that you don't have to just elope. So it's very interesting because this person really wants the fanfare. The queen and king of wands would definitely most likely want a big wedding, someone in which, you know, you get to wave the flag, a lot of public acknowledgement, a big party. So let's see what they're feeling in their heart space. Good. Again, they feel like they've never been happier. They want to offer you the world. They want to be in that world with you. This person loves you and feels heartbroken though. So let's see what their intentions are. Sometimes the cards get mixed in together. Like, you know, I'll look at intentions and it'll be all this heartfelt energy. But the two of you clearly love each other. That energy of the Scorpio King is, you know, part of how they feel about you. The Five of Wands, they intend, they're fighting sort of a battle within themselves of when to create, you know, how to look at this relationship. They really want to be very practical. And th there is a little bit of fear that you might say no, but they're studying the situation they do feel really nervous about this. They feel that you might say no, but that is an engagement ring, by the way. We need the Three of Cups to make it an official engagement, but they are coming in with an offer soon. Hopes and dreams for love come true. I do feel as though you may from, be from different cultures, different countries, different ethnicities. Um, it doesn't, it looks like there's some sort of distance between the two of you. I do get that this person wants to make it legal, put a ring on it. We have the ring, look at this. There's a huge ring that this person sees, you know, in the background of your relationship. We get engagement here. We're getting hopes and dreams for love coming true. Justice is also like a marriage license, a marriage certificate. The High Priestess card says that you may actually be aware of this. This is wish fulfillment. They totally love you. This relationship and how they see it is one of joy, happiness. They, I don't think they've ever been happier than they've been with you. And let's see what their actions are. Libra, what, what are the actions that they will be taking? Ooh, strategic planning. The beautiful King of Cups presents itself again. We have it twice here. This person loves you. I do feel as though, again, somebody's had to travel. You might not be together for the holidays. This person is rushing back in to see you. There's the Three of Cups right next to the Ace of Pentacles. So this person has not let you know um, that they want to ask you to marry them. Look at this, the Knight of Cups, a romantic knight coming in with what appears to be flowers. They're coming in with a romantic proposal, a ring. Oh my gosh. All right, it won't be everyone that gets to have that Libra, but that would be a proposal of marriage because the Justice card is the, um, it can be a prenup, it can be buying a home together, it can be the marriage license, but it is legally, literally a legal agreement, okay? So look at that. Okay, so let's see what else here we have. Ooh, they can't wait to make love to you. They really held you in high regard. They know that you really are a person that requires them to be the best version of themselves. Let's see what we have here in terms of, oh, let's see. Let's see what the oracles have to say. What is it that's causing this heartbreak? What is it that's causing our beautiful Libra's partner to hold back, unavailable. This is, person is unavailable to give you all that you need. 
So they have a tie to someone else. Let's see, what is that tie about? Tell us about that. Because this could be someone from the past. It does look like there's old heartbreak. I'm getting that your relationship is somebody that represents a new relationship, but we're also seeing that they have friendship. You know, they do feel as though you're their best friend. Marrying you would be marrying their best friend. There is a warning that says a relationship may be too new to take this step. So if that's the case, and it won't be the case for all of you, or probably even many of you, but if somebody does come in and uh, propose very quickly, the it, you know, it's really like don't dismiss that as a red flag. So as much as you may want to become engaged. Now, if you've been with this person a while, you know, now we're looking at a situation where they're basically going to focus on you more to strengthen the relationship, to bring it into fruition. They are trying to manifest this with you. Let's see what the roadblocks to this relationship could be, what stumbling blocks there might be. Let's see what we have here. Ascending, beautiful, good. Ascending may be a roadblock. <laughs> well, I don't think so, so that's good news also. Let's see. Mute, okay, so the one thing that this person doesn't do is they don't talk to you enough. They keep a lot to themselves with the King of Cups energy. This is a beautiful union, look at this, and they want their lives and they want the two of you to go in a new direction. So what I'm seeing here is that you may have broken up because you wanted to advance to the next level and this person may be responding by bringing in this new relationship and you may have felt that they were unavailable because they didn't talk about their emotions so take it as it resonates everybody's story is a little bit different but it does say you know you're being advised to um to really surrender to the relationship your person has had to go through dark night of the soul to get to this king of cups energy uh, this person is finishing that journey at this time, so that's something to be aware of. All right, so let's see what Spirit is going to advise you in terms of where you're at in this connection. What are the messages from Spirit for you, Libra? Your commitment is being tested, so there are going to be things about the development of the relationship, but that's normal. You know, everybody's commitment is tested. So it does show that, you know, you're going to have some tests. That's okay, right? An end of a tough cycle approach is beautiful. It does look like you've been physically apart. Not emotionally, but physically apart. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have a new romantic cycle begins with this world card, beautiful. It's time to give rather than take. Be generous with your love. And conclusions are within reach. Beautiful energy. So Libra, you know, those the advice that you have is always smart advice for everyone undertaking uh, the thought process of getting married to someone. Libra, I'm going to end it there. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.